Did you have to make him lame just before the Sabbath? In Fiddler on the Roof, Dairyman Tevia's horse breaks down right before Shabbat, and he must pull the cart himself. Strikingly, his ordeal is a foreshadowing symbol of the breakdown of tradition among the Jews of Eastern Europe. Shalom, I'm David Benkoff, the Broadway maven, and that's the kind of moment we'll be looking at in our exploration of the intricate details and easy-to-miss elements that helped Fiddler on the Roof gain the blessing of audiences the world over. Fiddler on the Roof struck a chord because it masterfully blends humor and heartache to explore universal themes of family, tradition, and change. Welcome to Why Fiddler on the Roof Scores. The central metaphor of this show is, of course, the Fiddler on the Roof, which Tevye explains to us means trying to scratch out a pleasant, simple tune without breaking his neck. Tevye struggles to balance tradition and change, just as the Fiddler must carefully keep his balance. Balance shows up elsewhere in the show, most notably during the famous bottle dance. The bottles, then, are more than a playful celebration of Zeitel and Muttel's wedding. They are basically little fiddlers, underscoring the musical's major theme. And what about this? On the other hand, on the other hand, but on the other hand, on the other hand. Tevye's constant references to one hand, the other hand, are also a nod to the balance theme. Tevye must balance the loads he carries in his different metaphorical hand. One of the things Tevye must balance is his desire for a wealthy match for his eldest daughter Tzaitl versus his intense dislike of her suitor, the butcher Laser Wolf. It takes some knowledge of Jewish law, but there's a joke here. Tevye is a dairyman, and Jewish law strictly prohibits mixing milk with meat, Laser's profession. In fact, the coming together of Tevye and Laser in the song To Life may, in fact, represent the mixing of milk and meat, symbolizing further the breakdown of Jewish traditions. Some of the names in Fiddler are symbolic, none more so than Tevye, which means God is good. And indeed, in Fiddler on the Roof, Tevye's conversations with God are a recurring motif. In the beginning, Tevye's tone is almost casual, as if chatting with an old friend. However, by the time we reach the song Chavala, his tone is one of pain and desperation, as he agonizes over his daughter's choice to marry a Gentile and leave the faith. Another significant name is Tzaitl, a diminutive for Sarah, but technically it's also Yiddish for little or dear time, hinting at the dwindling days of traditional Jewish life. Unlike her sisters Huddle and Chava, each of whom leaves the community for a different reason, Tzaitl stays with her parents as the tight-knit community is exiled and dispersed. The ticking clock, little time, is above Tzaitl's head in a way it just isn't with the other two featured daughters. And speaking of the daughters, in the first song after the prologue, Matchmaker, Matchmaker, they foreshadow the persecution to come later in the show. The song repeatedly uses match both in the sense of romantic pairings and of flammable sticks. Tevye's daughters sing, Matchmaker, matchmaker, look through your book. Evoking matchbooks, which did exist back then, and Playing with matches a girl can get burned. The imagery shows up again in the show's last song, Anna Tevka, as Tevya mutters, Someone should have set the match to this place years ago. Fiddler on the Roof may be set in 1905 Tsarist Russia, but its preoccupations and messages are decidedly 1960s America. Seen in that light, the struggles of Tevye and his family against restrictive traditions and external threats parallel the fight against segregation and the push for civil rights in America. The desire of Tevye's daughters to pursue their own marital and socio-political journeys reflects the values of nascent second-wave feminism. Even the counterculture is evoked by the paths of the younger characters challenging entrenched societal roles and seeking new ways of living. Tevye would find civil rights, feminism, and the counterculture completely baffling, but they were part of the world of the creators of the show. Thus, Fiddler is as much a document about their world as it is of any shtetl. Please like and subscribe. Marquee, the Broadway Maven's Weekly Blast, comes out every Thursday. It includes Piano talks, news, reviews, videos, Broadway blasts, quizzes, and more. Get Marquee for free and learn about all classes and projects at thebroadwaymaven.com. And here's a Why Broadway Scores playlist.